What's up, y'all? What's up, man? Oh, uh, you fill my heart. Well, let's uh, let's piss some people off. Fuck it. No, I don't mean to. I don't mean to. I don't want to piss anybody off. I don't. I don't. We just live in a different world. People used to want to laugh. Now people want to go online and go, oh, let me tell you what the fuck is that. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I, I, don't, I don't mean to be... Like in real life, I don't hang out with people anymore because everybody's too fucking sensitive. I only hang out with two groups of people in real life. Illegal immigrants and rednecks. That's, that's it. Because they're the only people that I've never offended. <laughs> Seriously, every other group, I have them for a little bit and then I want looking for you know what I'm saying <laughs> like with the Asians they're like oh that's a so funny and then when I do a Monterey Park oh too far too far like you know the black people are hell yeah motherfucker, do that shit but then I go too far oh hell no nah, motherfucker. <laughs> is everybody's the same shit except for Mojados and rednecks they take it and you know why because they accept the truth they don't fight it. Everybody else just to fight it. You know what I mean? If I did a joke about black people can't swim, some black people will be like, I can't swim. And then other black people will be like, that's fucked up. Can you swim? Nah, but that's fucked up. Like, <laughs> everybody, everybody gets fucked except, except for, like, when you accept the truth, you can be happy. That's why rednecks are happy. Listen, they wrote a book called You Might Be a Redneck If. You know who bought it? Redneck. <laughs> they read the shit, it makes fun of them, and then they go, ha ha, that's funny. They don't give a shit. <laughs> they don't fucking care. I have never offended a redneck. Never. And look at me, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried, I, I swear to God. And I want to offend rednecks, not because, not because I don't like rednecks, it's because I feel like I don't have the power to hurt their feelings. You know? It bothers me. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're just authentic. Like, the first time I met a redneck, I'll never forget it. It was 1992, Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, it was odd. No, 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 don't go, ooh, that was awesome. It was the best. Because <laughs> they were real. They didn't fight it. Rednecks are so fucking authentic to the truth, they reenact a war they fucking lost. And in the reenactment, they still f***ing lose. <laughs> yeah, I was under the impression that Civil War reenactments were the South going, not this time, you Yankee mother That's what I thought. <laughs> but then, my buddy, right, he goes, you ever seen one? I was like, no, come on down. So I went to go see a reenactment, and it was f***ing weird. It was in Arlington, Virginia. I'm watching it, and in the middle of shit, my friend just goes, well, this is where they fucked us up, so lie down like an asshole and just... That's some bull They're taking my black man. That's bull right there. Look at him run. God damn, he can run fast. Holy shit. They don't fucking care. First time I met one, I got off the plane. I was performing in a place called Hoover, Alabama. Hoover, Alabama, back in the day when I first started going there, had zero Latinos, okay? I would perform and no Latinos would come out because they weren't even there. Now, so many Mexicanos, not Mexicans, Mexicanos, live in Hoover, Alabama. I swear to God, these fucking rednecks renamed it Guadalajara Hoover. I can't even make that shit up. Goddamn Guadalajara Hoover. And you can't get mad. That's fucking even the Mojada. They're like, no, I like it, I like it. Guadalajara Hoover, Guadalajara Hoover! Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> they don't try to hide who they are. Right? They don't try to pretend who they are. They say, I got plans for us, man. You were a funny son of a bitch. I saw you perform, and I told Bruce, the owner of the club, to bring you here. And now you're here, and I'm here. And we can do some shit together. I got plans. You ever been to the South? I'm like, bitch, I'm from the South. <laughs> Yeah, like, see, the smart people got the joke. The smart people, the smart people got the joke. The pendejos are like, really from, like Louisiana or something like that. Like. But see, even the Mojados are going in Spanish. No, Southern, 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 Southern. 
más para allá, más para allá. <laughs> he goes, I got plans, man. I was like, what are we doing? He's like, you won't go mudding. I was like, what the fuck is mudding? He goes, mudding, bitch, you ain't ever been mudding. I was like, I've never even heard of that shit. What's mudding? He goes, mudding is fucking amazing. Mudding is when you go in a pickup truck, get a load of beer, go out to the middle of nowhere where no one can hear you, do whatever the fuck you want. That's mudding. You want to go mudding? Mm. Sounds like you're going to f*** me. So no, I'm going to say no to that one. It feels f***y. It feels very f***y. I feel like he didn't even hide the fact that he was going to f*** me. I feel... You know what I mean? Like, what did he say? I'm going to get you really drunk, take you out in the middle of nowhere in my pickup truck where no one can hear you squeal like a pig. You're going to f*** me in the ass. Come in my ass. Pull your dick out. There's going to be on it. And then you're going to go mudding. That's what it sounds like. <laughs>